and the 737 that are in this story. Uh, I go through the checklist. I don't go through the entire checklist that a pilot goes through, but enough to where the reader understands what is going on. And in other places, uh, the pilots brief each other through checklist and uh, uh, briefings on how to execute an instrument approach into Osawa, Ethiopia. So it brings the reader into the cockpit. Now, Ethan Bro, the main character in this book, AKA Cajun, uh, brings together all of his old buddies from his Iraq days when he was in the United States Army. And uh, now he's part of a civilian contractor that's being uh, recruited by the CIA to execute this super clandestine military operation to, to grab that nuclear weapon out of Somalia, Mogadishu, Somalia, and uh, before it's taken offshore of Israel to do some real damage. So this book is all about the realism of being in the cockpit uh, during firefights, bullets flying left and right, how to execute uh, the helicopter uh, controls, push the pedal to the left, fire the weapon, uh, that's what it's all about. So many of my readers, uh, quite a few of them women, have given me five-star reviews on Amazon. The reason is there's an excellent, several chapters are devoted to a love story in this book. And uh, uh, truthfully, I defy anyone to find a, uh, a better uh, rescue of a damsel in distress than this than is in this story. So I was asked, once I retired from being a pilot at uh, Aloha Airlines, uh, what was I gonna do with the rest of my life? And he suggested I should write a book. So I started writing on a napkin a potential book, and then it occurred to me that during that period of time, within a month or two, that was when the Somali pirates went offshore and captured the, uh, the Maersk, Alabama cargo ship. And uh, it struck me that uh, none of these ships have any weapons to defend themselves. So they captured the ship, and uh, the result was the United States Navy got involved, and um, all the bad guys were killed. But uh, it occurred to me just, just how brutal they were in Somalia. Uh, the next thing that occurred to me was that uh, North Korea and Iran had been collaborating on nuclear technology. In fact, they were shipping parts and other things back and forth. So it occurred to me, why wouldn't they be sending a nuclear weapon? And if that was the case, and Somali pirates got involved, there they would have a nuclear weapon somewhere in Mogadishu, Somalia. So uh, uh, that was the inspiration, that was the beginning of the book. Uh, I'd like to comment on uh, what it takes to write a book and inspire other people to uh, get involved and uh, because it said that every person has at least one book uh, in their story in their life and so I would say this writing a book in my opinion is very simple you just have to commit to the uh, to the idea the story or uh, the message that you want to convey uh, sit down and uh, write out an outline uh, write out the name of uh, quite a few of the chapters, some of the chapters you will not be able to uh, identify yet, but uh, as you write out the chapters, then you start to uh, just start on day one and uh, uh, start writing chapter one. The next thing you know, you'll say, I need to eliminate chapter three or I'm gonna add number 16. It will occur to you. You just have to sit down and do it. And uh, when you get done, when you're completely done with the book, then you can decide, is it good enough? Do I want to move forward? Do I want to rewrite it? Uh, what should I do? So I would say that everyone has at least one book. You just need to commit yourself, sit down at a computer, uh, first write out an outline and uh, try to name the chapters because that helps you a whole lot. Then all you have to do is to fill in the blanks for each of the chapters.
I believe that being a published author is a very special privilege. It is not easy to sit down and compose your thoughts and to put it into the form of a book. However, it's, it's like many other artists, paintings, people who are great singers or instrument uh, players. Uh, being an author is a very special thing. And the reason is once you have written that book, taken that message and put it pen to paper, published it, you can see it online, on Amazon as an example. Uh, it's very special to see people buying your book, reading the book, and leaving very special approval messages about your book. For those of you who are considering publishing a book, you could not do better than Author Reputation Press. Uh, one thing I will say about them is that they have all of the options, not just helping you edit the book and put it in book form. Uh, they can help you. Uh, they can help you with a movie script. They can help you with an audio book. They can uh, have connections uh, uh, in, into various. Uh, publications that you would not author, uh, ordinarily have as an option. Uh, uh, they have produced a website for me. It's a very professional website. And uh, if you like my book, you can purchase it right on my, uh, my website. Uh, there's a button there where you press it and it goes right to Author Re uh, Reputation Press. And you can order it and they will fulfill your order immediately could not do better than author reputation press.